Hello YouTube, this is Andrew once again, and I'm doing some more work on my Gateway CX210X. Um, I This is the third video in the various video teardowns and, uh, and explanations on this computer. Um, don't forget that the CX210X is just like the most of the M series and the entire CX series. Gateway used almost the exact same computer layout and everything for almost all of their um, convertible tap com convertible laptops. So, um, just to take a, a quick look, um, I had somebody uh, ask for information on this. Um, this right here is the cover that's uh, that's on top of your motherboard and RAM and such. Now it happens to have screws here, 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 uh, here, here, here. Now it doesn't have any hidden screws, thank goodness. But what it does have is it does have two tabs right here at the bottom and a tab up here at the top. So the best thing to do is to loosen all of the screws and then take an old key an old hotel key card or a black stick if you picked one up. I have mentioned to those in earlier videos. They're a godsend uh, for computer work. And then uh, and then you slide it along here to get this tab and to get this tab. Slide it right along there. And then the rest of it just lifts out. <coughs> but it likes to hook back on when you set it on top. Now here is your various components. Here's your RAM. It has two slots. I've got one gigabyte chips in each one of my things. Um, and these appear to be, ugh, goodness, I wish I was the computer expert that today that I once was. But back over here happens to be the uh, heat sink and, um, and fan. Now this heat sink is removed by undoing screws. I'll try and get you close enough so that it's easy to see. Here, here. Uh, sorry for the lighting issues. Um, here, 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 and here. Now once you've got those screws up, as I'll show you in just a minute, um, you kind of lift this thing up sort of this way. So if you'll be patient for just a moment while I get these up. Now I apologize because my uh, <laughs> because I really don't have much in the way of video editing software, so I don't really have uh, have anything to piece these various pieces together, which is why my uh, tutorial about about the screen opening um, on my s on this laptop um, is so well, is in three parts, and I've actually only uploaded two of the parts. Now, uh, because I don't actually need to take this out the whole way, I'm not going to mess around with undoing, with undoing the power to the fan here. But just to give you an idea, I lift up here and just slide. And if you want to take a look underneath, we happen to have, oh, I'll get some light, we happen to have the CPU right there, the Intel. Um, it has a small screw um, and once again the failings of my, of my camera here, you're not able to get a real good, good look at it, but it is just right here. Um, let's see if I can get a better angle. It's just right up here and uh, it has an open and a closed setting so you just go there. Now your computer came with a 32-bit processor. Um, type in, uh, darn it, I'll uh, put it in the information bar on the side but uh, of, of what my processor is, but it is a 32-bit and you can find um, processors that are 64-bit of the same type, but they're a little spendy, somewhere around the neighborhood of $100. Of $100. Um, less if you can find them discount, but it really depends upon whichever one you want. Um, and over here we have the ATI graphics card, the soldered in, um, the soldered in graphics card on the motherboard. And uh, again, if only I was the uh, technical expert that I once was. <laughs> I got my uh, my computer certification back before 
internet was wireless. So uh, <laughs> just gives you an idea of how much I'm missing out on. Now, uh, down here is the RAM, and it's got a little, little metal things yep, here and here on the other side. And you just pull those out, and it goes from, uh, from lying uh, flat to coming up at a 45 degree angle, at which you can just kind of pull that out, and you're good to go. Now, um, that's really all you need to know about, these one, about this. Um, again, for anybody who has one of these old, um, one of these old laptops, and you're looking to upgrade it, I've got Windows 7 running on mine with two gigabytes of RAM and the stock CPU, and it runs like a dream. I could not be more pleased with it. I honestly think, I, by the way, it's Windows 7 32-bit. Um, runs like a dream. I, I think it honestly runs better than, than Windows XP ran on this. Um, so, but take that with a grain of salt. Uh, because I wasn't too big of a fan of XP in the first place. It was it was nice for uh, for my older video games, but but I'm just I'm just a real big fan of Windows 7. So uh, so yeah, that goes back in. This goes back on top. Um, unfortunately, I haven't opened up the computer more than this at this point. So stay tuned for. Further, uh, for further video on instructions on how to open this up and upgrade it. Hope this helps.